I started modeling through a lot of community work that I was doing and advocacy work. I worked for an organization called the Gender and Family Project, which is an organization that works very closely with trans youth and their families. Arielle is an American model and LGBT rights activist. She signed as a model with DNA Model Management when she was in high school. She was chosen by Ralph Simmons to walk for Calvin Klein's 2018 Spring Summer Fashion Show. That was her modeling debut while she was a sophomore in high school. This made her the first openly trans model to walk in a fashion show for Calvin Klein. She has since walked many runways, including Marc Jacobs and Miu Miu. Ariel is the first openly trans person to appear on the cover of Vogue magazine. The history-making cover was the first time a trans person ever appeared on the cover of American Vogue. When reflecting on the significance of this groundbreaking cover, she told Vogue, I've been put in this box, trans model, which is what I am, but that's not all that I am. Obviously, it's a big deal being the first trans woman on the cover of Vogue, but it's also hard to say exactly what kind of a big deal it is when the effects are so intangible. Ariel has also been featured on the cover of Italian Vogue in Love magazine. And I think that community is something that I found a lot of strength in growing up as a trans person. It gives me a lot of resilience to kind of be who I am and to be unapologetically myself. Lena is an American actress, model, dancer, and activist. Her modeling career started at the same time that she came out as trans in 2014. It was then that she graced a candy magazine cover highlighting trans women. She has attracted a lot of press as a trailblazer for trans women both in the entertainment and fashion industry. In 2017, Lena made news for walking the runway during New York Fashion Week. The following month, she became the first openly trans woman of color to appear in Vogue India. She has since been featured as one of the faces of several fashion campaigns. Ballroom is my original platform. Before fashion, before acting, this place gave me an opportunity to groom myself, to have healthy competition, to see myself as beautiful. You know what I mean? We can't go and be on a soccer team at our school. We can't be on a cheerleading squad. So the fact that we have ballroom, it allows us to have healthy competition among our counterparts, to have something to live for, to have something to dream for. Glamour Magazine named her as one of the six women who are shaping the future of fashion and they did so in their October 2018 issue. In 2019, Lena was the only trans woman of color to walk Paris Fashion Week for the Fall Winter 2019 fashion show which was an all-black cast. In 2021, Lena made history again when she became the first trans woman of color to model 12 swimsuits in the pages of Sports Illustrated. The model wrote on her Instagram that the achievement was biggest in my wildest dreams. She later told Essence Magazine, everything that we want, need, and seek is inside of us. We need to find things inside of us that we don't see in the world and then go out and create them. We are in a world where we don't fit in, so we need to create one where we do. That's our responsibility. The gift we need to pass on. Lena is officially the first trans woman of color to be featured in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Valentina is a Brazilian model and actress. In 2017, she made headlines when she became the first openly trans model to be featured on the cover of Vogue Paris. She followed up the trailblazing moment by also appearing on the covers of Brazilian Vogue and German Vogue. She is the first openly trans woman to be featured on both magazine's covers. Other magazine cover appearances for her include Vanity Fair, Italia, Elle, Mexico, and L'Officiel, Turkey. Valentina has also worked with brands such as Dior, 
H&M, Marc Jacobs, Moschino, L'Oreal, and Philippe Plain. She is currently signed with New York modeling agency The Lions and is also an Armani beauty ambassador. Valentina became Victoria's Secret's first trans model in 2019 and the first trans model to appear in Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue in 2020. She told BuzzFeed when reflecting on those achievements. The world has taken huge steps for transgender people in recent years. My cover is another small step, an important step that shows we have the force to be Vogue cover girls. The fashion industry is an instrument to raise flags promoting diversity, where things are more fluid and beauty evolves. Fashion is a world that is freer. In 2020, she made history again when she became the first trans model to appear in Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue. What I want to say to everyone is let's celebrate diversity. Isis is one of the most well-known trans women in the fashion industry. She's an American actress, model, and activist. She's one of this generation's most influential trans women. In 2003, Isis won a full-ride scholarship to the Art School of Philadelphia for Fashion and Design. The following year, she was struggling to make ends meet in New York City. She wanted to return home to Maryland, but her family did not support her transitioning into a female. She instead moved to the Alley Forney Center, which houses and supports over 1,400 LGBT youth every year. While taking part in the Transitional Living Program, ISIS was connected with the Reciprocity Foundation, which helps give jobs to high-risk youth that are homeless. America's Next Top Model was organizing a shoot for Cycle 10, which addressed the problem of homelessness in the city. For the shoot, homeless women in the transitional program were used as background models. ISIS modeled on the runway seven years prior, and her powerful strut just blew away the art director. Because of her impressive performance, she was ultimately scouted by Tara Banks and became a contestant on Cycle 11 as the first openly trans woman on America's Next Top Model. From there, Isis became American Apparel's first openly trans model. She has also been successful as an actress. Isis has played pivotal roles in the Emmy Award winning Netflix series, When They See Us, and on hit shows such as L Word, Generation Q, Equal, Good Trouble, The Bold and the Beautiful, and Shameless. As a model, Isis has graced the covers of LGBTQ in mainstream magazines and has slayed the runway for many notable fashion designers. We haven't jumped over the hurdle of positive imagery of transgender women on TV. We really need to get over the fact that this is how I was born. Teddy is an American model. She worked as a model on some of the biggest runways for two years before coming out as a trans woman. I thought if my darkest secret was exposed, I'd lose everything. My story begins when I was 17 years old and I walked into a modeling agency for the very first time. That was the moment I decided I needed to take my destiny into my own hands and conceal my secret. It worked. I got signed to my agency and I began booking jobs and making my own money. Louis Vuitton's creative director, Nicolas Gasquier, discovered her in 2015 and her career soon took off. It was not until September 2017 that Teddy publicly came out as transgender. Her coming out announcement was praised by Gisquiel, designer Marc Jacobs, makeup artist Pat McGrath, and several others in the fashion industry. When reflecting about her career, she said, I'm definitely a little bit nervous because I've been presenting as cisgender for so long. Since I transitioned when I was 16, I've been living as a cis female I was very lucky because I won the genetic lottery. 
I look a certain way and my voice hasn't dropped. That privilege gave me a lot of confidence to walk down the street, to date, and work in the fashion industry where people would presume that I was a normal girl. In 2019, she became the first trans model to be hired by Chanel Beauty for an advertising campaign. When reflecting on that accomplishment, she said, I am the first openly trans person to work for the House of Chanel, and I am deeply humbled and proud to represent my community. The world would kick you down, spit on you, and tell you you're worthless. It's your job to have the strength to stand up, push on, to keep fighting, because if you give up, then you will never experience the tears of triumph.